All right, so let's take a quick look at using Video Encoder 09 to import and publish a video file that we can bring into Presenter 09. So when you first launch Video Encoder, right, this is your starting screen. On the right-hand side, you can open up a previous video, and on the left-hand side, you can create one, either by importing one or recording with the webcam. In both cases, whether you create one or you open one, you're still going to open it up in the editor. So let's go ahead and just import a video. So on my desktop, I have both an AVI and an MP4. With the most recent release and update of Studio 09, you can import MP4 files directly into your presentations. You don't need to convert them to FLV files. However, Video Encoder offers a lot more than just converting to FLV. It has a lot of options, and that's what we're going to look at here. So let's go ahead and just bring in our MP4 file. Okay, so here we have our footage our poultry footage. A couple options to look at real quick. We can trim the video, right? So if the video is too long or we just want to select a specific clip, we can select trim. You can drag the selection handles in from either side. But this footage is too fascinating to uh, edit down, so we want to keep it as it is. You can crop. Really nice feature about the crop tool is it does maintain the aspect ratio, so you don't have to hold the shift key or uh, really worry about getting a uh, you know changing the aspect ratio of the video. Of course, the volume through is volume. We can adjust the brightness and contrast, but this is a quick overview. So let's just publish this video as it is. So let's just say everything about it is perfect. It's what we want. Um, so that's what we're going to work with. Go ahead and click publish. It brings up our options. We can select where to put it. Right now, it's on the desktop. You're given, to begin with, three presets, and you can see the, the, the settings for each of them right here. So medium is 320 by 240, large 480 by 360, and then a small is a little smaller. In most cases, you're not going to want to go larger than what the video is. It's going to scale it um, disproportionately and cause some de degradation to it. So in a few cases, you can obviously do that, but really you want to stay with the current size or go smaller. So at this point, we can see right here under the preset medium, it says 320 by 240. But if I look down here in my, uh, on the actual editor, I can see that my video size is 320 by 180. So if I, if I select this default size, I'm going to end up actually uh, scaling this a little differently than what it was originally produced as. So let's go ahead and create a custom preset for this so that we can maintain the same aspect ratio. So click Customize. And right here I have my options, 320 by 240. Let's change that to 180. And I'm going to have to give this a new profile name. So I can just do, I'm going to accept all the medium settings, right, for the, both the video and the audio. I just want to change the size. And of course, there's a lot of options you can play with for the video settings. But um, in this example, we're just going to make this match the same size. So I'm just going to name this medium custom and then give the aspect ratio, the, the dimensions right there. I click Save. And now I'm ready to publish. You can confirm your settings right there. And we'll just click Publish. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. I already have one there, so let's go ahead and overwrite it. OK, so once you complete it, it has a familiar screen for us, right? You can open up the output folder, or you can view the video file. And there's our fascinating footage right there. So pretty simple, very easy editing tool. You can make some minor adjustments up top. All we did was publish with the default settings, except for we created a custom setting uh, to match the actual input video size.